Hi guys, I'm uh, playing around with this funky little, uh, I got this new little miniature tripod about this big and playing around with it tonight. So this is, I'm just kind of doing a test video. This is much easier to deal with than that big ass tripod. So it is now Friday night. May 10th, 2019, so uh, I am sitting here on my last Friday night in the live music capital of the world. That would be right outside of Austin, Texas here. Uh, sitting here on a Friday night alone with my little dog in the live music capital of the world sitting here on uh, probably the most depressing place on the planet particularly on a Friday on a Friday night in the live music capital of the world spending my last Friday night for hopefully at least six months in Austin Texas where you know uh, about 17 miles from here the 200 plus live music venues are cranking up in Austin, Texas as all of the thousands and thousands of you know just just pretty nice folks including probably at least a hundred if not 200 people that I know and consider my friends and who would call me their friend they're gathering at you know at uh at some restaurant some bar some club to do what all of my clueless lovable friends do while i'm sitting here alone with my dog on friday night uh on the pile of fish internet dating service which is truly one of what <laughs> If you think the Doomosphere is depressing, guys, uh, uh, you have obviously never tried internet dating, which is, good God, if, if William Shakespeare had ever experienced internet dating, how many people are on, according to this, right now, on this Friday evening on this planet, there are 398,730 uh, lonely arts around this planet sitting here on pile of fish, you know, going through these hundreds of profiles. So, uh, anyway, so I've been playing this pretty heavily the past few weeks trying to you know, get, get all these women in upstate New York excited about the arrival of Hambone. And so it's, there's, there's about, well, I've narrowed it down to about four women, uh, obviously none of which are Doomer chicks. Uh, well, I mean, I honestly don't know about three of the four of them. I, I, I know one of them is, is not a Doomer chick because she's the only one aware that I'm looking for a Doomer chick. And uh, so she has assured me that she is not the Doomer chick that I'm looking for. But it doesn't mean that we can't be friends. But of course, these other three women, I don't think they're Doomer chicks. But I don't know. Maybe they are just Doomer chicks who have learned to keep their fucking mouth shut about being Doomer chicks because they don't want to scare off some nice guy, uh, some nice clueless fucking moron guy uh, with their Doomer uh, worldviews about how fucked we are. So I don't know. Maybe these other three women. But anyway... Uh, so all four of these women that I've been emailing back and forth and talking and whatnot, so all of them know, I've, I've told every one of them 
that, uh, okay, that they've known since noon today. I've let them know that, okay, uh, ladies, uh, I'm going to be here packing up and uh, <clears throat> would love for you to call. Now, one thing you learn very quickly being a man on uh, these things, you do not call the women. Uh, there's some myth out there that women like to receive phone calls from men. No, women like to receive phone calls from a very tiny, tiny select few men. The last thing that I'm going to do is, is, is actually impinge upon one of these women's privacies by calling them on the phone without their express permission. Uh, so I have sent out uh, and, and, and so I know there's at least four women and can't, I'm not sure how many, I, at, at, at least two of the four are online right now. Uh, they have known, it is now 8.30, they have known for the past eight and a half hours that uh, I am home and would love to talk to them. You, you know, have a telephone conversation. And for, for whatever reason, they just don't call. They sure as shit don't suggest, uh, well, Hambo, why don't you just call me instead? And I'm not about to uh, call them without their permission. Uh, so here I sit. So uh, I've been sitting here for eight and a half hours, you know, kind of like Charlie Brown looking in the mailbox for the valentine from the little red-haired girl that never comes, uh, waiting for one phone call from one woman in, in upstate New York. And uh, my phone has not rang today. Has, has my phone rung one time? I've been on this computer for 12 hours. The phone has not rung one time. Uh, and, 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 and also understand that all of my friends, all of my friends, yeah, right, Hambone, uh, know that I am leaving on Monday morning. They know this is the last weekend I am going to be in town. And let me tell you how many phone calls I have gotten from my own friends right here in Austin. Well, hey, buddy, this is your last Friday night. We ought to get together and do something. Oh, yeah, those phone calls are pouring in. So it has now been, it has now been, let's see. So my buddy came out on Tuesday to help saw up this tree. Uh, the last conversation I had, you know, with another living human being, not not counting uh, emails, you know, not counting the computer, not counting YouTube uh, comments and pile of fish uh, comments and a few personal emails and two or three personal phone calls, I have not had a, you know, a live conversation with another live human being. You know what I'm talking about. Face to face with another human being on a planet of almost eight billion people. It has not happened in my life in over three days. So I'm going to say 70, 8.30, 76 hours, I would say. Uh, it has been 76 hours since I have had so much as a one-sentence conversation with another living human being. Uh, now, of course, you do keep in mind that there is another human being living in this 900 square foot, 
two-bedroom house with me. There is another live human being uh, about, he's probably about 30 feet from me. Uh, we have been living in the same house together uh, for the past 76 hours and have not uh, said hello to each other. And I just think this is a little bit fucking weird. I just think it's a little bit weird that, uh, you know, I, I, I'm really not trying to take this personally. I'm just chalking it up uh, to a sign of the times. It's just where we have arrived uh, in, in humanity. Uh, you know, I'm sitting here, I have two YouTube channels on this great uh, world famous YouTube star. Oh yeah, uh, I've probably in the past 76, I don't know uh, how many dozens, a couple of hundred comments uh, from, from listeners. Uh, I've probably gotten about 50 emails, you know, personal emails from uh, my YouTube listeners. Uh, you know, these, 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 my, imag my lovable imaginary friends here on YouTube uh, that come flying in from all over the planet. I, I have had emails, well, from Spain. I've had emails from Spain, from England, from Australia, from New Zealand, uh, from Brazil, uh, from Mexico, from all over the United States, from Canada, uh, and yet I have not had one face-to-face -face conversation with a human being on the planet. And uh, I will not be having another conversation with a human on the planet probably till about noon tomorrow. I will uh, get back with my clueless, lovable friends and we're having a big... Uh, bash birthday party. So this time tomorrow night I will be surrounded probably it sounds like 70 or 80 people turning out for this big picking party. This is the birthday party of my Trump voting friend. It's her birthday party tomorrow night. So Tomorrow night, I will be in the middle of 75 or 80 people partying till 3 o'clock tomorrow night. Then, let's see, I will be back here alone on Sunday night. I will be spending Monday night in a motel room somewhere between Memphis and Nashville. And then... Uh, I will be meeting up in real life with some of my uh, tribes members. I'm going to go visit uh, Dan and Judy in Kentucky and Joanna in Cincinnati. Then we will be uh, at Sandy's house six nights from tonight. Then off to uh, Brother JJ's place in upstate New York. Me and the little dog. But, uh, otherwise, this is my life. You know, sometimes I honestly don't know what, what my imaginary friends on, on YouTube, being this, uh, you know, this social media star, uh, I, I, honestly sometimes wonder what you people think that Hambone, what, what Hambone's life looks like. 
uh, when I'm not sitting here in front of a camera. I, I, I don't know what your vivid imaginations are about what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm going through a pile of fish dating service looking at imaginary women uh, in upstate New York. Uh, I have been listening to a very interesting uh, documentary on Ted Bundy. I'm sure uh, that would be a good that would be a good topic of conversation with with these women in New York. Hey, darling, uh, what you up to tonight? Uh, I am enjoying a, a a documentary on Ted Bundy. Uh, there you go. You know, Ted Bundy. What the fuck? I mean, look at the guy. Ted Bundy would have had absolutely no problem uh, have, having all the girlfriends that he wanted. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, okay. Live, laugh, and love is the real journey. Okay, we're gonna go look uh, at my matches. Yes. Do you want to see matches from another algorithm? Try Ultra Match, <coughs> where people are ranked by compatibility, and you can help us learn your preferences by sending someone who interests you a message or excluding someone you know is not right for you. All right, we're going to go to Ultra Matches. Ultra Matches. Damsel in distress in need of social rescue. This is the first one of the algorithms. If you are unemployed and not very social, stop reading right here and click next. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure this damp stole in distress in need of social rescue would uh, love. She, she's my number one ultra match. Uh, I, I, I think I will send the damsel in distress. Uh, a copy of this uh, video I'm making about how I have not had human contact in over 72 hours as I watch a documentary on Ted Bundy. Okay. You know, this is truly This truly, I mean, oh God. Oh God. Okay, so I'm going to talk about me for a while. I love this title. Dating Let's Meet and See No Perverts. Dating Let's Meet and See No Perverts. No One Looks. We Will Talk. Sign Sexy69TP. <laughs> yes, here is life is a comedy. Yes, it is, darling. Life is a comedy. Uh, 
I do hate liars, L-I-A-R apostrophe S, and cheaters. Okay. If there is a starry-eyed guy that also lives in this fairy tale world, sitting in his kitchen, fingers typing on his keyboard, sipping tea, and texting his mom. <laughs> and that says where it runs out. Uh, so that's who she's looking for, isn't she cute? 50s, now here's one I did answer. 50s are the new 30s. I responded back, no darling, the 50s are the new 90s. I got no response back from my hilarious quip. Oh, God. Everything begins with that first step. Yes, it does. Everything begins with that first step. Oh, shit. Bye, guys.